So I missed Autism Awareness Day, which was on April 2nd, but it is still Autism Awareness Month, and I think it might even be Autism Awareness Week while I'm filming this. I don't know when y'all see it though. It'll be this month though. But as I was saying, I want to make a video about three things I hate and three things I love about my autism. Before I get into it, I do want to say that if a uh, cure was available, I wouldn't take it because overall I love my autism more than I hate it. And um, I would not be myself if I took that cure. And I love myself, so I want to stay myself. I'm going to start with my hates first and then end off with my loves because I want this to be a positive type of video because autism is positive. My mini fridge is making noise right now but we're just going to try to ignore that. Um, reading off my phone so um, if I'm looking down it's just because I have them written on my phone and then I'm, I'm probably going to talk a little bit about them. So my first hate would be I hate how naive my autism makes me. My autism is not the fault, the person that hurt me is the person that's at fault, but it does make me naive and I don't always notice or understand why somebody would want to hurt somebody. Like I can't wrap my head around why people would want to hurt people. Um, I've done some research on it since getting hurt and um, I understand it a little bit better, but I still can't, I really can't understand why if somebody hurt you, you'd want to hurt them back. Um, it just, I just don't get it. And um, yeah, so I hate how naive it gets, how I hate being naive and um, not really understanding why there are quote unquote evil people in the world. Okay, my next one is I hate my sensory issues because it dictates a lot in my life. It dictates what I wear. Like you can tell by my videos, I always wear tank tops that's because I always wear tank tops. Um, I actually don't even own any other shirts at this moment. I own only tank tops. And I also own um, a bunch of leggings. I don't wear any other type of pants be besides like pajama pants. And so a lot of my um, clothing choices is dictated by my sensory issues and of course other chronic illness related reasons. But most of it is comfort and sensory issues. And um, all of the fabrics that I have to use are um, have to be very soft. I even had to get someone to make me a um, seat cover for my wheelchair because the seat that they used would um, be annoying to my legs if I ever wore shorts or even through like really thin leggings. My skin is so sensitive that I could feel the mesh fabric that was on my wheelchair. And my camera's about to die. Fuck. I hate how easily I can feel stupid by uh, from by others. Like if I don't understand something or grasp something, especially if it's like calling a company or like the insurance company or working with my um, bank account, I always feel like they get aggravated having to re-explain things over and over again. So I really hate that because most of the time I need my mom for that stuff and I would love to just be able to do it myself. But um, that always gets me in trouble some way. I always mess up or I something happens. It always gets fixed but it's it's just aggravating and I wish I could be able to do that myself. Okay since my camera is dying we have to speed this up. I love how I think and how I view the world. Um, I always want to bring, I always want to put more positive than negative out in the world and um, I just like my, I don't really know how to explain it but my mind is different and I like the way that I look at things and I like the way that I see things. Like I can picture stuff in my head as pictures. A lot of the, a lot of the way I think is pictures. It's not really words. I do have that voice in my head that everybody has, but a lot of it is pictures and it's just comes very very much in handy. So I love that about my autism. <sighs> I love how open and honest I am with the world. A lot of the stuff that I talk about either in my day-to-day -day life or on my YouTube channel, like for instance wearing diapers, a lot of that stuff would um, be embarrassing to a lot of people but I don't care. I do care a little bit about what people think but I care less about what people think and more about what makes me happy and I've always been that way. I just love how open and honest I am and a lot of that can get you in trouble. There are negative sides to it but 
overall it's a positive thing and I'm just very thankful that I can be open and honest and not worry too much about what people are going to think about me. And my last thing that I love about my autism is I love how when I enjoy something I dive in head first. I taught myself origami when I was a kid. Um, I learned a lot about braille when I was a kid to the point where I could read it. Like with my eyes, with my fingers, I could never do that. Um, my that's only really something that a blind individual can do. Um, I don't remember braille anymore, sadly. That'd be so cool if I did. But things like that, like I even taught myself how to crochet. So if I want to learn something or if I'm interested in something, I very much learn everything there is to learn about whatever it is. Like I even, um, when I was younger, I could even name all the individual parts of a turtle because turtles are my favorite animal. Like I even have a turtle on my wall which I'll show you, but hold on. Ignore that um, broom handle, but yeah, turtles. Turtles are everything. And so yeah, I love being autistic. And before my camera dies on me, I wanna say that ha I hope you're having an amazing autism, autism awareness month. And don't forget that I love you. Thank you for staying alive. Remember, you know your body better than anybody else, so please listen to it, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.